centuries ago, mankind discovered a way to transfer consciousness into a new body. Making death a mere inconvenience. Since then, we've been providing an unparalleled pedigree of human sleep Please. to only the most discerning clientele. Psychosec. Live forever in the body you deserve. Science fiction is getting a little too close to real life for some folks in West Hollywood. That's where a new advertisement is turning heads. CBS 2's Rachel Kim is live in West Hollywood with reaction to a billboard that breathes, Rachel. It certainly does, Pat. We're along Santa Monica Boulevard and Crescent Heights Boulevard. People around here are stopping in their tracks because of this. Check out this unusual bus stop ad. You know, it feels real and it looks real, and it's getting a lot of reaction. Along Santa Monica Boulevard, a bus stop billboard taking advertising to new heights. It's crazy. It feels real. A lot of desperate actors in LA do anything for a buck. That this cloning works okay. There's two different kinds of cloning, and it, conf it, conf blah, blah, it confuses people. Now, there's uh, replication cloning where it comes up as a baby, right? Put the cells in, make the same person as a baby. Well, there's duplication cloning as well, where they grow you in a big, thick tank fill full of water. And well, there's a few different grades of cloning there's Mark 1 to 4 that I know of. And the problem I'm having is with the Mark II. The thing is, Mark I was around at the end of the, the World War II, but it was a primitive clone, lots of side effects. Uh, anyway, uh, this is even on the net. I, before I started blasting on the net about this, uh, somebody said something about the Mark I to four clones, and the first one being called the organic robotoid. And uh, that's what it was called, even though there's no robotic parts in it at all. Anyway, uh, Mark II is an REM driven clone okay now what that means is when you go to sleep the Illuminati this is their main form of communication too they don't call people on the phone they don't meet at the Bohemian Grove anymore since they got cloning they meet at the cloning station when they go to sleep each of them I don't know how they do it exactly okay or else I'd know how to block it but they can uh, they can transfer your consciousness into a clone at the cloning station if they have a clone of you and they used to have to use a tissue sample from, from you or uh, I guess they said uh, the cells from a woman's pap smear is like really rich in the cells to, to make one of these duplicate clones um, they used to use kids foreskins that were discarded at the hospital that got removed that's what happened to me um, but now they said they've uh, upgraded the technology in the last 10 years so now they only need blood what they used to do with the tissue, well, they could also, uh, they used to set this little oil drill looking thing over a person's forearm, strap their arm to a chair. And the, this drill, it had things on it that opened up, right? Now it would go in and when it spun, uh, these things would open up. But then when it stopped, the thing was closed, the things would close again. Now this is done. It goes in, comes out, in, in comes out and what's, what it was doing it uh, it has to agitate the tissue they told me when I was a kid uh, to a certain degree I guess like they said the easiest way to tell a person in layman's terms about it is you know when you have a hangnail and you pull it off and the white stuff that accumulates inside and eventually it'll form like a scab and new skin and it'll grow over well to get that white stuff to really work good they agitate the tissue a certain amount of times. Now they just agitate blood from like a blood sample even. And uh, yeah, cloning is uh, very prevalent. It's like a secret thing among the like elite. They use it for their crazy stuff. You name it, they've done it. Like jump off of cliffs, everything. Um, to live forever? 
You want to get away from illness, hurt, anything that doesn't work the way it's supposed to. We have achieved that here. This is called the cortical stack. This cortical stack stores your memories, everything that makes you you, mannerisms, emotions you ever felt, people you know, anything, even your consciousness is stored on this device. We did not create this device, but we do use it to help our sleeves move. Sleeves are basically human bodies we grow in our labs. They're organically real. Bones, tissue, organs, everything. These are the best bodies you'll ever have, period. Nothing can hurt these bodies, but they are human. So if something were to happen to them, you can always change them out for a new one. That's why it says immortality becomes non-existent. Absolutely. You know, if you go to Disney World, for instance, down there in the Haunted Mansion, you see the hologram, right? Oh, you know how to make a hologram. Well, our scientists have learned how to make people. They call them synthetics. Are you familiar with those? Um, well, actually, we just interviewed John Lear, and he was talking about being in an audience in which they were given a lecture by a guy that they thought was real and found out later was he was a hologram. Well, it's a synthetic. A synthetic's when you touch their skin, it feels like uh, plastic almost. That's the latest technique. The old, the old techniques, uh, if you guys can rent a video, uh, the boys from Brazil, rent it. Because in it, it gives you the exact way how our government's been making people. Really? Yeah. Well, come and the on. Soviets have a different method called... I mean, making people meaning temporary people? No. Walking, talking ones. Meaning through genetics? You're not talking about that? Well, let me tell you. Let me. Uh, the movie shows it, but I'll share it with you right now. All right. All I need to do is take two cells off of your body, yours. Uh-huh. We give them a small electrical charge. I'm just going to act like a fertilized egg. If I got a fertilized egg, all I need is a receiver in order to make it. So they were hypnotizing women, you know, said they were being invaded by aliens. And the fetus starts growing, right? Needs mm -hmm. food. Well, they can use cows and sheep, too. Again, a food source, that's all we need. After about 14 weeks, all of a sudden that fetus is gone because they've learned to take, that's when the fetus starts developing its own blood supply. Then they've used the pituitary hormone extract that they have, which accelerates the being that grows. And the original technology was given to our government by the grace. Now, the reason was that our scientists were all excited because we could have spare parts. If you need a heart or a liver or anything, you won't have any rejection. It's your own DNA, right? Okay, because theoretically, if we have overpopulation, we don't need more people, right? That's, but the so-called elite are selecting on who they want to have around anyway, so if we want to keep people going as long as we can. I, I talked to the doctor that was working on um, regeneration of Castro, for instance. Right. On the DNA sequencing. And, that, and they're just learning about this. <music>
understanding is that a lot of presidents have already been replaced. That's right. Yeah, I, like, I don't think they're I walking think, around. They they look old, but they basically uh, some well, of the people are just. I'll, I'll, I'll just give you something copies. to ponder. I'll give you something to ponder. Get some old videos of George Bush, his when he first came into office. Look at the person and listen to him speak. Look at his actions and listen to his everything that there. Now it's a lot easier to put somebody out in front to act as a you know even Bush did. He had somebody else that was up there. Uh, acting like he is and look like it. Even Hitler had a, you know, he had his stand. In fact, his stand-in was the one that they found in the in the ground over in Germany. I mean, Hitler and Eva and the dog and 14 other people got aboard a plane and flew down to Barcelona, Spain. You were aware of that. And then ended up in Antarctica or in Swabenland and then died a few years ago in Brazil. <laughs>
So you have to have them tuned up occasionally or redone them. And so we take them to Camp David or there's a wing at Bethesda Hospital to just tell you. There's, if you go down there and check, you'll find the, the nurses. If they're willing to come forth, they'll tell you they work on those people and they call them the others. I thought it was uh, interesting. <laughs> they're people. Remember, these people can think and act, but they don't sure. have soul. That's also prophesized. Soul right, that's beings. true. That's true. Now we have another agenda that's going on, so you have to be careful of all this. There are many extraterrestrials that would like to be in on the game right now, so they can sometimes will come in to these physical beings that we make to manipulate them. I see. So okay. now you have a combination effort that you have to look at and discernment. Mm -hmm. You have to discern what the game is. Well, this figure that most of the leaders we have in the world have been bought and paid for or created to think a certain way in the world. Mm-hmm.